This is my beaten and abused, destroyed, rusted everything TRX4 Sport that I've had for a few years. And it is time to give it a full makeover, rebuild, ground up. And today we are getting that whole process started. If you follow the channel, you know that this TRX4 Sport has been with me for a number of years now. I did a full build series on it, and it has been through salt water. It's been through every crawling event you can imagine. It has done absolutely everything, and it has a whole host of good parts and upgrades and everything on it. And it's all basically worn out at this point. And so came to a crossroads of do I continue to run it? Do I just get rid of it? or do I give it brand new life? One of the things that I always thought was the most iconic about my TRX4 Sport was this wrap job that's on it. Now, of course, I can't take any credit for it. This is from Darkside Studios. This is his afterburner wrap. He makes this for a couple different vehicles. I put it on, I slapped a roadside RC sticker on, I've hacked it up over the years. It has taken a lot of damage. And of course, by now you can see all the scrapes, the nicks, the tears, all that kind of stuff. But even then, yeah, from a short distance, it looks pretty good still. I've always loved this iconic theme of this, uh, you know, it's not a paint job, but this wrap on here. I always thought it really made the truck stand out. So I'm going to now be putting on a brand new body for it. And I'm going to go straight back to Darkside Studios to get their brand new offering, which is this absolutely amazing looking piece right here. This is a topographic, I forget what the actual name of it is, but it's like a topographic look. And it's got the trees down the side. Where's the side images here? It's got the compass with the trees down it. Oh man, it just looks amazing. And then I paid the extra to get it the chrome backing. So I'm gonna be very curious to see what this looks like out on the trails because I'm imagining that chrome is gonna reflect the sky. It's gonna reflect other things. It's got the red highlights. You can choose what color you want in here as the accent color. Like I think this is going to be pretty dang awesome. I don't know if it comes through in the camera or not, but all the topographic features here, it's got a lot of detail to it. I'm not going to show you all the different steps of what I'm doing to install it. Dark Side Studios actually has their own YouTube channel that I can link down below, where it gives a lot of really good in-depth 30 plus minute long videos of all the details of how to apply these. I've cleaned the body like he suggests. One thing I do as an amateur to this is I like to cut out some of the pieces and get it into smaller, more manageable chunks. All of these parts are already pre cut so you should be able to just pull them off like everything is fine but you know i don't know exactly where i want it to sit right this isn't one big major wrap that goes over the whole vehicle it's a bunch of little parts so like here's the top fender here's the hood here's the other fender here's the back you know the back of the hood back here like i like to cut these out and then lay them in there with the backing still on so that I can see kind of like where it fits and where it doesn't and how it needs to go. And so I actually use my, uh, between the scissors and the knife, I'll actually use and trim these parts out first very carefully so that I could fit them in there like that. <music> Let me show you something that's interesting here about his kits he actually has a little parting line in here so there's a little small gap between in this example the hood and this side fender elbow and if you just follow along with kind of think how he wants you to do it you're just going to peel this sticker off and put it down this gap that's right here in the middle is going to stay on the sticker sheet one of the things i did with my previous body as i did this same thing is i came back in and i actually put these gaps back in there because if you put the stickers on where they go without those gaps in there you end up with a slight i mean you end up with leg a legit body gap like right in all of these different seams all the way around the sticker's there it's a small little sliver of a sticker but like might as well use it so i kind of leave them on and still put them in there um if you look in the old body you can actually see that right here on the old body it's not perfect you can actually see that there still is a gap but that i was able to fill in part of that gap with that little 
leftover sticker part. You can see it here on the edge. You can see it here. I did it all over the place, actually. One thing that you can do as you go through all of this is, you know, the body came with the full Traxxas decal set also. So as an example, now that I've put this window in here, there's not really like a window trim. You can see typically you'll have like a black window trim around there. Well, what I did is I just came in and I had previously just cut the trim off. So this gray window cut it out and then just used the trim from the factory TRX4 sticker set in order to give it a little trim there. So you can make a mess mixing and matching the stickers from both the dark side wraps and the Traxxas wraps. on this thing is looking just absolutely great look at this all the stickers are on from dark side studios i ended up of course i had to put the roadside rc on there and i ended up using the black here that's actually from the traxxas kit not from dark side studios because it's a little bit more of a matte black a little bit a little bit less shiny we're not done though because I have holes up here and I have a gap. And yes, I do have grill stickers and everything that I could put on it, except the gaps here where that's supposed to go is a problem. When you get the sport kit body, it actually comes with hard plastic items here. It actually comes with this tailgate. It comes with the roof rack that I've all hacked up. It comes with the side mirrors, comes with a front grill. I did not buy new of that. So I'm gonna need to now clean this up really, really well. And then we're gonna transfer all of it over to the new body. You may be asking yourself why I'm putting all of this plastic on my body because the truth is it's not good for performance at all. And this is all unnecessary and it's all wrong in the wrong spot. It doesn't help performance. Every bit of this is actually bad for performance, but uh, clearly the front grill and the rear grill are important for this body just for how they look. Um, this whole top rack though is completely optional and does not need to be on there. If you look at this versus a standard TRX4 Sport rack, you will see that I have hacked it way down and I've left this part of it purely to help protect the body because this truck will roll over it'll roll over it'll be damaged a lot and as i do that these take all the damage instead of this beautiful wrap plus if you're doing any kind of crawling where you're going to be using a winch and if you need to help winch someone else over all of these are absolutely awesome winch points i actually left them on here specifically because of all these holes that are right in here easy way to grip and roll the truck over Look at there, it is getting all done. All the stickers are on, all the plastics are back on. This thing is looking very, very sweet, very unique. Not something that you see everywhere else when you show up to a crawler event. Definitely, definitely going to stand out. But you'll notice there's a couple things that aren't done now. Like uh, right here, you can actually see that I did not put the final black sticker on the bottom here. Uh, there's a couple other things like that missing around, not trimmed out very well here on the rear bumper. You can see I actually have like a little piece dangling down. That's all because from the previous body, if I set them next to each other here, you can tell there's a difference in total height and everything that's there. I try to slam the bodies down so far on the chassis, plus tuck the bumpers in, all that kind of stuff, that I end up trimming almost all of this off back here. It'll be the same thing here on the side. It's actually trimmed all the way up here. Now, I'm not going to go ahead and do that. I'm not going to fit it to the chassis as it sits right now because I have a lot more work to the chassis that I want to do first that may change how exactly I cut it and fit the body. So I'm going to leave it exactly as it is here, and I'm going to get over to working more on the truck itself and upgrading some of the parts that are on it. But if you are looking for a unique way in order to update and 
and modernize and put a unique spin on a body that you have, you really got to check out Dark Side Studios. I mean, I've loved this Afterburner kit. I've ran it for years. I wanted to go with something different. I'm really glad they came out with this new design right here. Look for it out on the trails. It'll be out there before you know it. You can check it out in person yourself. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.